Industry 4.0 offers many opportunities for cyber criminals. Anywhere data are transferred or stored can be a target. Understanding your own IT, OT supply chain can help you identify vulnerabilities and minimize risks. Cyber attacks on the supply chain focus on the relationships and dependencies between companies and their suppliers. The first step is to attack the supplier to gain access to its systems. The cyber criminals then use this connection to attack their real target. The methods used are not fundamentally different from those used in other sectors. Cyber criminals target employees and poorly managed and unpatched systems. Correspondence with suppliers is a key risk for employees, as messages from known senders are given less scrutiny. If an attacker has taken control of a supplier's email account, they can use phishing messages to try to trick employees into doing what they want them to, and to spread malware. Legacy or out-of-support systems also harbour risks. Outdated and often neglected systems that are connected to other systems are a popular entry point for attackers. There are different types of risk that affect the supply chain. If attackers have compromised a supplier's email account and access to the customer systems is not adequately protected, they could make unauthorized changes to these systems or data. A supplier's software or hardware may be infected with malware that can be used to infect end devices on a large scale. Accessing many different corporate networks is the goal of the attack. Companies become dependent on external IT suppliers when they integrate Industry 4.0 technology. If a key supplier suffers a cyber incident that disrupts its service, it can put the whole company at risk. Cyber attacks on the supply chain happen. However, you can significantly minimize the risks by carefully selecting your suppliers and implementing specific cybersecurity measures. The National Cybersecurity Center has developed a set of tools in collaboration with Planza Transport AG. You can find out more on the NCSC website.